it is Wednesday. I've had three hours sleep because even after going to bed at 2am my body thinks it should get up at 6 and my alarm was set for 7. Good times. It is 60 degrees outside right now. I've stood outside for a minute or two and gone and I have decided to wear shorts. Obviously I've got my spirit jersey on, I've got a t-shirt on rather than a vest. Um, but I do have jeans, leggings, um, and a fleece, plus my puffer gile waistcoat, because I think it is going to be chilly tonight waiting for the fireworks. As soon as it gets dark, I know I'm going to want to put my jeans on anyway, um, regardless of whether I need the other stuff. So my bag is actually full. I've left my big camera behind today. Um, that is literally just clothes. So I don't care carrying it around because I, um, I feel the cold and I get miserable when I am cold. So I would rather lug that around with me all day and not need it than sit there shivering my butt off. So let's go to Epcot. Well, considering it was supposed to be great, like the weather forecast had black clouds. So this is good. This is all right. It is, it is shorts weather. Um, and the sun was out. So I nearly left my sunglasses behind as well, but glad I didn't. Now, there is a lot of construction here. And I kind of feel like someone going to see somebody in hospital and you don't know what's wrong with them. Because I don't know, what, well I know roughly what they've done. But, I love old Epcot, so, we'll see. I was just going to put my fleece on, but in the sun it's warm, so. Um, so nobody else got out of bed. No, that's a lie. The others are all going for breakfast. Um, so I'm going to wake up. That's right. Did you raise your finger for No, you he did. did. Okay, stay right here. Don't move. Tell you. There you go. Is this it? Is this actual rope drop? Or are they going to hug? No, this is it. We're in. Ah, no. Rope drop up here. Oh. Well, even guest relations is shut. It's really windy. I promise. I will not run. Look at big See a lot of people go for frozen. It's a single ride. <laughs> Hopefully it's warm. Yeah. Got the heating on. We'll begin with the capability oh. test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off-road and extreme weather sequence. Automated crash avoidance technology disengaged. That was so cool. First ride at first car. 
I'll buy myself as well. Uh, I'm gonna go do soaring now. No matter what my line, I don't care. This is so sad. All the good bits of Epcot are disappearing. Oh, it's warm in here. Oh, I want that jumper. Even before I saw it, I had a back to it. Cute. If you like wall pictures, Epcot's the place to come. I'm getting down the escalator. I'm gonna be different. Fifteen minutes I can cope with that. Still won't even be 9.30 by the time we're out. I always fast past this, I forget how long the walk actually is. Hello and welcome to Soarin'. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety, strength, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah. Have a nice flight. Alright. So I actually took 40 minutes because it broke down and we had to move theatres. So that's a bit annoying. Uh, pop to the loop and then meet David and we'll be living the land. Living with the land. Welcome to Living with the Land. Welcome to a voyage of discovery and awareness of the richness, the diversity, and the often surprising nature of living with the land. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. One of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet and other elements essential to our lives. It's gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. <laughs> Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. In Japan, by mixing leaves and other living materials into our soil, we can make farmland more fertile without the living Home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here 
wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. This unique journey through our living laboratory. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the behind the scenes walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratory. We're doing the really thrilling Epcot attractions this morning. We're going from living with the land to figment of the imagination. And I jest because there are actually two of my favourite things here. So. Are you just jinxed it now? <laughs> Maybe not 10 minutes. You'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Oh, Figment. Our first stop is the sound lab. We'll begin by testing your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Left, right. Hello. Who is this? It's Figment. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't.
You both look like you're on the toilet. <laughs> Three, That's it. two, one. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> we are. We got a, a spaceship Earth fast pass, which I'm so excited about because it's Wednesday and I haven't been to spaceship Earth. Just realised the solution to my hair and my face problem is to put my hair on. There may be a problem here. Crazy, crazy. Welcome aboard. On the map in front of you, please join where you're from.
Attention! You are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. And the solar power from your own fuel station, your own. You won't have to worry about your pets while you're gone, thanks to handy household robots. Quickly and safely to places you can't imagine visiting today. And the moment you arrive at your ultimate vacation destination, you're out of this world. And the end.